parts of a triangle. Basically, a triangle is just like a mountain, where the part that is parallel to the ground is called the base. And opposite the base is the peak, or the highest point of the mountain. In this given example, the peak is angle E, and it is also called the peak angle. The peak angle is always opposite the base. On the base, there are two angles, angle G and angle O. These are the base angles. And the line segment from the peak that is perpendicular to the base, let's say point P, let's have it here. This is called the heights or altitude. So when you say perpendicular, it has to be at an angle of 90 degrees with the given line. Let's try naming the basic parts of a triangle one more time. Study the given picture. Let's say, for instance, line segment BC is the base. Then our base angles are angle B and angle C. As what we have said earlier, opposite the base is the peak angle. And in this example, the peak angle is angle A. The distance from A to D is called the heights or altitude. Since the peak is always opposite the base, the peak angle may change depending on the base. For example, if the base is line segment RS, then the peak is angle Q. If the base is line segment QS, then the peak is angle R. And if the base is line segment QR, then the peak is angle S.